All right, so evening time again, hot summer here in the south, and I am fed up working on my fuel pump. So I've started working on my uh, turbo kit. So I am laying out all, I'm laying out all the pieces. I am uh, trying to get a feel for what I'm missing, if anything, because like I said, um, I bought this on eBay. Uh, so this kit is a Phobia Street twin turbo kit, and I've got these very nice uh, black and white Word document instructions to prove it. Uh, <laughs> they're not exactly high quality instructions by any means. Uh, but you know, Phobia Street is a guy who builds turbo kits after work in his garage. Uh, and hands down the cheapest kit I found for my car on the internet. Uh, and it, it's relatively high quality. I mean, here's some of the tubing. It's a aluminum tubing, but you can see he just kind of used a vise to squish it to make it fit where it needs to. And a lot of the ends right here have uh, sharp burrs on them, and you can see like he just used an angle grinder to cut that. And, you know, he's got some fairly high quality uh, neoprene couplers but like I said I bought this second hand on eBay um, a guy bought it supposedly never mounted it changed his mind and decided to go a different direction with his car so I got a huge discount on it um, and you know whatever little hiccups I find along the way I'm just gonna fix it because it saved me like six thousand dollars so um, so let's, I guess I could just do this. Let's walk through how the kit is supposed to work. So back here, these, uh, these turbos right here, this actually takes place of your mufflers. So you can see he actually did a really good job of fabbing up these factory exhaust tips um, and they bolt directly to the um, hot side of the turbo and dump out the back. So exhaust pipes, it mounts exactly where your, um, ex your mufflers go. This actually acts as a hanger. You bolt this to the frame up underneath there. And then this mounts right here. Um, to oil your turbos, you get a return pump in the kit with lots of lines and fittings. Um, and I'm gonna lay those out too. I'll, I'll get some more videos as I get things put together. So then you, you get air in, get compressed. This actually goes like this um, over the wheel arches. Uh, after it goes through there, then right here, you're actually, you're actually inside the rocker panel and it goes to the front of the car. I guess I can show you this side, it's already the other. So this, this pipe goes right here, goes inside your rocker panel, um, goes around your front wheels, and then it comes up to the front and the intercooler, the front mount intercooler. Um, and this goes to the throttle body where your blow off valve is. So that's where I'm at right now, just getting everything laid out, making sure I have all the right couplers, making sure I have all the right fittings, all the right lines, enough clamps, all the nuts and bolts, which I'm finding, uh, coincidentally, some of these T-clamps, which seem to be fairly high quality, are actually missing the uh, nuts that go on top of there. Uh, there are no bolts for the, um, what'd you call this, the, the hot side exhaust pipe, and there's no bolts for the down pipe. Uh, there are bolts for the waste gates, and I think these are additional weight gauge springs. Uh, but, so that's what I'm trying to do, just lay it out, and then after I lay everything out, put everything together, and make sure everything fits and I have enough pieces, I'm gonna pressurize the system and make sure it doesn't have any leaks. Why am I concerned about leaks? Because the guy I bought it from packaged it like a two-year-old. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Nice big dent there. Uh, there is... Where is it? 
Oh, there's a, a nice big dent right there. Uh, there's a couple of couple of places that have have some dents in them, uh, and I want to make sure none of my couplers leak, none of my pipe has leaks in it, um, my inner cooler doesn't have a leak in it. I just want to make sure nothing has a leak in it because I'd hate to get all this piping put in the car and then have a boost leak somewhere and have to hunt it down. So that's where I'm at. Uh, I'll take another quick snapshot whenever I get everything uh, put together. All right, got everything assembled <clears throat> and we're just about to do the pressure check. I'll give you guys a quick tour of what everything looks like when it's assembled. So here's the rear end, the business end. The uh, exhaust tips go right there. Um, got the waste gates right here. Got everything bolted to the turbo. Got my oil lines plumbed in. And I wanted to make sure I had all the proper fittings and everything. So these are actually the pressure lines. The return line is actually down there on the bottom. Uh, let's see, uh, right there. That's the return line. So there's no pressure on that one. <clears throat> and it dumps into these bad boys right here. Um, it goes into a Y and it goes into this heavy duty uh, marine pump goes gets pumped back up here and it's going to dump inside the uh, inside the valve cover and then this one is the pressure line so it gets pressurized with oil goes down here and then it goes and it splits and it goes to the top of those turbos so that's what it that's the oiling system it's the exhaust system we have the charge piping <clears throat> so I have the end capped off um, and disconnected from the turbo but it goes over the wheel arches through the rocker panel right here around the front wheels it goes into the intercooler and then up here we'll go to the mass airflow sensor and I put me a valve stem on there um, and cap this off I've also capped off this end and removed it from the turbo. Uh, the other thing I had to do was clock the turbos. So the both turbos were, exhaust was like this, pressure side of the oil was on the bottom, and then this was pointing toward the back. So they were both identical. So I had to clock that one like that and clock this one like this to get both of the oil pressures on the top and oil drains on the bottom. So that's what it looks like. I'll give you guys a shot whenever I get everything pressurized. All right, so several rounds of pressurized leak, pressurized leak. And I'll show you guys something. This is why I'm pressurizing everything and checking. All right, got a little bit of pressure built up in my valve stem. Now look right here. So I'm pretty sure the reason that's doing that is because this pipe got pinched a little bit when it was shipping. And I'm hoping that if I just tighten that down a little bit, it'll go away. But I'd have never known that if I hadn't taken the time to assemble it, put it all together, find a way to pressurize the system and check it. I'd hate to get all this piping in the car, <clears throat> go to go down the road, get into the boost and, and like, what, why am I not building any boost here? And so here we go. Checking some more. Working. 